Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. So we have x to the 6th power minus 4. And on the first side, this equation is easy one because it's not still hard. We have x and we have a constant, so we need to bring this 4 on the right hand side and, and solve it. But we have 6 right here, so we have we will have 6 roots. And let's let's find all of roots. At, at first. So take a look. Let's write this x to the sixth power as x x cube to the second power. And let's write this 4 as 2 square. So minus 2 square equal to 0. So we just write this x to the sixth power as x cube and this 4 as 2 square. So nothing changed. If we raise it, we will have the same. But what we're going to do in our case, take a look. We have difference of two squares so we can split it into an identity a minus b times a plus b so at first we will have x cube minus two and times x cube plus two so we just split it into an identity equal to zero so we have two parentheses in the first parentheses as you can see we have x cube minus two moreover we can rewrite this two as cubes root of 2 to the third power. So what I do, take a look, we will have x cube minus cubes root of 2 to the third power. And I do the same with this with these parentheses. So this is the same. If we raise this, cubes root and third power will have the same. But this I write I make the same thing on the right hand side. So cubes root of 2 to the third power. So take a look what we'll have. Right here we have, will have difference of two cubes and right here we'll have the sum of two cubes because right here we'll have this is for example our our a and this is our b and right here a and b. So we need to know a formula difference of cubes and the sum of cubes. So let's write this let's write this formula. So we will have a cube plus b cube. What we will have? We will have a plus b and times a square minus a b and plus b square. So this is the rule that we need, need at first. So let's write the second rule a cube minus b cube. What we will have? We will have the same but right here we will have a minus b and right here we will have a square plus a b and plus b b square. So as you can see we just write rules. Right here we have difference of cubes, this formula, and right here the sum of cubes. So let's write this long long expression. What we'll have? At first difference. So we use this formula. We will have we will have x minus cubes root of 2 <coughs> times x square plus x cubes root of 2 and plus cubes root of 2 to the second power square. So we just write this difference of cube. So this is difference of cube. This is our difference of cube. This is our this case. So let's write the same but the sum of cube. So multiplying by x plus cubes root of 2 and times the second parentheses x square minus x cubes root of 2 and plus cubes root of 2 square equal to 0. So as you can see we have a long four expressions equal to 0. So how can you solve it? Take a look. At first we can solve this in the easy expression. So right here we have x minus cubes root of 2. So we can find our first root. So this one x minus cubes root of 2 equal to 0 and from here we can find our first root so our x first equal to cubes root cubes root of 2 so we find our our first first root x equal to cubes root of 2 and this is root even in, in real numbers so let's find our second root right here we can easily find it as well so let's find this root we will have x plus cubes root of 2 equal to 0 and x equal to minus cubes root of 2. So as you can see this is our second root minus cubes root of 2 and as well this is root is in real numbers. So let's solve 
the next case or as you can see right here we will have first root second root and we'll have as well two roots in this parentheses and two roots in this parentheses so let's let's solve this one or this one doesn't matter then we will change change sign and we'll have four and fifths root so let's for example solve this this equation what we'll have i write this equation right here we will have x square x square plus x cubes root of 2 and plus 2 to the power i write it as 2 third equal to 0 so how can i solve it we can solve it using abc because this is a really good case from here a equal to 1 b equal to cubes root of 2 and c equal to 2 to the power 2 third so we have all all these all these numbers and we can find our x 3 and 4 so x 3 and 4 will be equal to minus cubes root of 2 plus minus we will have a long expression we will have 2 to the power 2 third minus 4 to the power 2 third and if we subtract it we will, we will have minus 3 times 2 to the power 2 2 third and we of course dividing it by by 2 and if we divided it by parts we will have our our final answer we will have as a result this will be equal to minus 1 times 2 to the power 1 third minus 1 because we divided it by 2 minus 1 and plus minus square root of minus 3 times 2 to the power 2 third and dividing by by 2 and as you can see right here we have minus 3 so we need to know about the complex numbers right here we'll have i and this this answer as well so our final answer will be the next we'll have minus 1 dividing by 2 to the power 2 third and plus minus i square root of 3 and dividing by 2 to the power 2 third so this is our our root but right here we'll have x3 and 4 so this is our x3 and x4 this is our x3 and x4 as you can see we find our roots and let's find x5 and 6 because right here we have x to the 6th power and we we will have more roots so how can we find it of course this is completely the same expression but right here we have minus and right here minus we need to know one thing that if we have minus right here and we need to find our last root so we need to take away this this minus so if we have a situation like that we can easily find our x 5 and 6 so it will be equal to we will have the same case but right here we don't have any minus because minus we have right here minus with this minus will be plus so our x 5 and x 6 will have 1 dividing by 2 to the power 2 third and plus minus i square root of 3 dividing by 2 to the power 2 2 third and this is our 5 and 6 root so we find all roots this is x3 and x4 in in complex numbers and right here we'll have as well complex complex numbers so first root cubes root of 2 in real numbers second root minus cubes root of 2 in real number as well and we have four pairs of complex roots at first we will have minus 1 divided by 2 to the power 2 third plus minus i square root of 3 all over 2 to the power 2 third and as well the same but we don't have minus in this case so we have 1 2 3 4 roots with this plus minus and as well plus minus we will have the first with plus and six with the minus or we can we can change it so this is this is a solution if you still have any question write a question in the comment write your suggestion in the comment if you still have any question about this complex number about this complex number it will be really interesting to read it and thank you so much for watching subscribing and see you in the next videos